So here we have the, it's the uh, 26th of October. This is the uh, King's Funeral Procession Day. And uh, we were just about ready to hit on the head out on a motorcycle to go and get the next leg in the transport because pretty much all the transport in Bangkok is just shut down even out here in the suburbs um, and as soon as we get ready it starts raining it's just so tired <laughs> but the uh, good thing about obviously monsoon season it's only going to rain for about 30 minutes and then we'll pass over um, but anyway so uh, we're going to cue the intro and uh, we'll catch up with you shortly We made it to put them on time via motorcycle. And I tell you what, it's like, you know, I'd have loved to have done a bit of a video on the way up the the, the line, even on this uh, put them on time size size seal, the fourth row to put them on time. Um, it goes back like five miles, at least five miles. Um, coming on the motorcycle, we managed to get dropped off at the head. I don't know how the queuing system works around here, but just behind me. You can see uh, the stadium that they've set up here at uh, Putum on Tong. This is uh, what we're all here for, uh, to pay our respects. Um, not much I can really tell you about the whole event. It's, uh, it's one of those things that uh, is a one lifetime event for everybody here in Thailand. Um, the king was uh, well respected for 70 years um, and uh, you know, ran the country you know, with uh, the excellence that you would like to see um, the rest of the world adopt. Um, he is uh, revered, loved, cherished, and it is a very sad and, and mourning, mournful time for the Thais. Um, and we can uh, trust that uh, his heirs will do uh, as good a job as uh, what he done, done over the last seven years of his reign. Uh, it's absolutely amazing just being here um, and uh, wish you guys could be here as well. Yes, yeah, so as I was just saying, the queue, that's where we've just come from, uh, down the bottom of that road there, with pretty much uh, four or five kilometres or miles, I don't know how long uh, the queue goes back for. It pans around here, this is obviously the entrance to where we're going in, and just uh, in here, get a bit of a bird's eye view, uh, see if I can do a bit of a zoom in. This is the main uh, uh, pyre um, uh, uh, viewing area. I don't know, even know what the right words are to use here. Um, but that's where we're heading into, uh, through that queue through there. And as you can see, panning around further, we've got more people lined up down there. And I think the queue goes all the way back down that road as well. Um, and we're just on the western outskirts of Bangkok. So it's uh, been about an hour in the queue so far since we got here. And um, we, uh, at my judgment, about another four hours before we actually get to pay our respects. But it's all part of the process. Uh, it's just going to be one of those long days. My poor girl, she's had to take her shoes off already. Hey? We had to take your shoes off already, darling. Yeah, we can't have wait for all time because we yeah. wait yes, for all time, but it's okay. Mm. As you can see in front of us, it's a fair long way to go. And we're going to walk all around, all around there. And that thing is, of course, we've had uh, three rain showers already. Uh, luckily, we bought the big umbrella. But it'll take some time. Yeah, so we've had a few uh, rainy spells. Not very rare, not very heavy. Just looking to the uh, east of us here. Um, it looks like every 30 minutes from now, it's absolutely going to bucket down. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, so the, um, the flower ceremony, which is what we're attending, I don't think it's called the flower ceremony, uh, the, the, the queues here, we thought we were only a, you know, four hours away. Yeah, we turned a corner and, oh my God, yeah, like, and we had another six hours to our queue. We didn't realise it was that much of a double back queue inside the, uh, the main gates here. Um, still tossing up what we're going to do yet. Um, I know my baby, she thinks very, very long queue. You think too long? Have really, really very, very long. Have a lot of people. And of course, yes. the flower giving ceremony, or the flower procession ceremony, which we're doing here, um, has actually been put on hold for two hours as well. Uh, the reason being is the actual cremation is going on at the moment. So um, uh, they actually stopped the, uh, the, the ceremony here and we can see the cremation process be broadcast on the live screens here that are set up. So, which means that the things won't start moving here for another two hours or at least another hour. Um, which adds another hour to that long queue. So we're still tossing up what we're going to do here. Somebody, people come for maybe sick morning, yes. sick morning, but now cannot go outside to yeah, yeah. wait for food, wait for toil. Yeah, but some people. Our some people in Sanam Long Song, they stay for three days. Yeah, two days. Three yeah. days. Some day. people in Sanam Long Song stay long. for no, Sanam Long Song. Two days. <laughs> Sanam Long. Two days. Yeah, yeah. Cannot they camp outside for three days just so they can uh, get in to do the flowery ceremony. Um, yeah, so it's uh, you know like a lot of people have you know put a lot of time and effort into that. Um, I'm just following the cue for my baby here. Um, you know whatever she does, I'll do because I really have no idea how to negotiate um, the whole process without her. So we're doing our best. Well, it's not long to go now. Where we can sort of see uh, where we lay the wreath or the uh, sandalwood flower. I was just told the fact that uh, Thais actually call it the Monday flower or the moon flower, um, which is interesting. Darling, you ready? Yeah. Not too long now. And we're just looking out the, out the road here. People are still coming in. Uh, and it's something like 7 o'clock at night already, or 7.30. So we've uh, done the, uh, the sandalwood flower blessing um, and we get a little something to give us a couple of things uh, to commemorate us being here, which is uh, quite neat. And um, now we're just going to try and make our way out without getting lost, I guess. Sorry, the lighting's a bit crook here, but we'll do our best. Well, there we go, it's all done. Yes, all done. Probably can't see me in the picture in picture there. Not enough light. I might just turn that off. Um, but yeah, so you might be wondering how do we manage to sort of avoid the eight hour queue. Uh, that's a bit of a mystery, but the young gentleman there, Chai, he's a bit crafty. I think he leveraged uh, uh, the poor little old Farang rule in Thailand and somehow he managed to uh, leverage <laughs> a queue jump <laughs> in about eight hours. I have no idea how he did it. Um, but who's complaining? Um, we get to get out of here and it's um, and it's still uh, dinner time. So darling, how we go home now? We walk home? No, no, just looking for taxi maybe. You think we can get taxi? I don't know. Oh I my think god. Have or not have, I don't know, not sure. I think we maybe have to walk a bit. Yeah. It's a good, uh, probably a good five kilometres to our house. <laughs> um, so let's hope we can get a taxi. Um, but anyway, see so how we go. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I can really show you for you know our little 
adventure today to uh, say farewell to the King. Um, and uh, I think all in all we had a, a bit of a win and we didn't, we didn't lose any. <laughs> Bloody mosquitoes. There's a lot of water around put him on top. Um, yeah, so there we are. We're all done and uh, catch you guys later. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.